Okay, we're back. I've got the computer powered up. I've gone ahead on this particular computer on the back, it's got USB ports and this one's going over to this, uh, using this this uh, cable to the scanner and we'll plug it in in a moment. And then this one's going to the flatbed and we'll plug it in a minute. All my power supplies are already in. Uh, I told you how we use that passive device to hold the dongles. This plugs in over on the side here like that so I have uh, a four port uh, these come with lights uh, so you know that they're always powered on and that makes that easy in addition I've got an extra port back here and I've also got a port right over here plus two there so if I needed extra USB is plenty of room so let's finish connecting things together the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug in this USB connector, it goes to this bottom location and it's square as with a little rounded area so it will fit right in there. And my power supply is going to fit right in on top of it. So now with it all connected like that, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the flatbed. If you have a flatbed and those connectors are on the back. Obviously, the square one is the one that we're going to work with this connector. And we'll slide it in. Again, be careful that you use the flat edge. usually goes on the bottom. And then this is our power connector, and it's going to slide in like so. These are not interchangeable power supplies. One other note that I will tell you is that in your box, uh, if you received it new, you're going to get a whole bunch of additional cords that would plug into the power supply with different tips. This is because this device is used worldwide. You want to hang on to those tips in case you ever travel out of the country and you need that adapter. This power supply is unique in as much as you can plug it into that source and then it will step up or step down the power to make it work in your particular environment, uh, the country that you're in in the power cycle. Same thing on the flatbed as well. Well, we're all set up now with this, and before we turn anything on, we're going to want to download all the software that you had links to and get them all installed, whether you're on a Mac or on a window, and then we can go ahead and power things up. We'll be back after you've had a chance to do that.